Hey there everyone, Dr. Taylor with Archer Review and today I am going over Foley catheter insertion. I don't know about you guys, for me this was one of the skills I get really anxious about because it is sterile. We don't want any ooky gooky bacteria making their way up the urethra into the bladder causing cystitis. So we have a client here today, she's in labor, she's had an epidural and now she needs a Foley catheter. We are of course going to verify our provider's orders, double identify our client and gather all the supplies you need before you come in the room. I'll give you a heads up, this one does have quite a few supplies. Usually you can get a Foley catheter insertion tray that has most of the materials you need. But always verify once you're getting going that you really do have what you need. Let's kind of go over that supplies. So in the tray, first and foremost, you're gonna have your catheter. It's hooked up to a drainage collection bag. Now I also just wanna note, I'm demonstrating for you guys and teaching you about these materials. What we have set up over here in our sterile field, I would never ever touch with my dirty gross hands. I just wanna actually kind of show you guys what we're working with, okay? So standard drainage collection bag is right here, hooked up to our catheter. And you'll see, it comes in this nice little plastic container because we're trying to keep it absolutely as sterile as possible. We're not opening it until we're sterile and going to insert that in our client. Now, you also have some sterile drapes. We're gonna use that to get our client draped. We've got some cleaning swabs. These ones are iodine swabs. We're gonna use those. We've got a Foley securement. We've got a pre-filled syringe that we're gonna use to fill up the balloon. I'll show you guys that here shortly. And I've got some jelly sitting here in my tray ready for my catheter. So once I'm like, yes, I've got my supplies, I've set up my sterile field, it is good to go. I'm gonna go ahead, get my hand hygiene going. This is another one where you need a big glob. Rub those hands together, get the palms, get the backs, between the fingers, thumbs here, rub, rub, rub until there's no more hand sanitizer that you can feel. Because again, we want this to be really, really clean, as sterile as we can make it so we don't cause that UTI. Then I'm gonna go ahead, introduce myself, talk to the client and get this area ready. I like to move the blanket down just to the length that it needs to. We're gonna keep her as modest as possible. Lift that gown up, there we go. And then we're gonna prepare this area. We are already on a little chucks pad here. In case we make a mess, we can move that. And then we're going to want to drape our client. At this point to do the draping, I've washed my hands. I'll go ahead and just put on clean gloves so I can get everything situated before I get sterile. Clean gloves, let's go ahead and grab these sterile drapes. These should come in your Foley insertion tray. You see how they have a little hole here? So we can put that where we need it. I like to kind of go ahead and grab a couple, one that we can put over the leg here. And I need to create a little area right here. That's important for me to be able to place my materials and get where I need to get while still keeping the client safe. Okay, that looks good. We're clean and safe there. I'm checking all my materials. Let's now go ahead and doff our clean gloves so that we can get sterile. Hand hygiene again. Let's open up our sterile gloves. I usually do my right hand first. I should note that the Foley trays, they usually come with a pack of sterile gloves, but they may not be your size. So go ahead and check that. And if you need an extra pair like I do, then you should go ahead and grab those in addition to your other material. Okay, got that on. I can use that hand to fix that finger. Now I am sterile. I do not want to touch anything on my sterile field until I am at this point. So here's where I go ahead and prepare my catheter. As I told you, it comes in this nice little plastic sleeve and it just rips right down the middle. That then actually exposes the tube. This is what's going to go into your client's urethra and up into the bladder. So I'll get rid of that. And what I like to do once I get all that plastic off 
is place the tip of the catheter into the lubricating jelly that I already have in my tray. I've got that right there so that it is ready for me to reach. All of this is sterile, dropping it here in my discard pile. And now I go ahead and I take my tray that I've prepared over to this little sterile area I've prepped. That is why getting all this draping going was so important. Drainage bag can sit right here. It's at the ready. Catheter sitting in the lubrication. I can then take my pre-filled syringe. This just has some saline in it. And I can very carefully, remember you don't wanna to touch anything at all. By I am putting that on there, I'm gonna show you guys what the balloon looks like. See how that inflates? That's what's going to keep it in the bladder once it's all the way in there so that it doesn't slip back out. Deflate it, leave that attached so that it's ready. Once again, in the lubricating jelly, being very careful it doesn't touch anything. Now what I'm about to do requires being very careful about which hand you use. I'm right-handed, so my non-dominant left hand is going to touch the client and spread their labia. So guess what? This hand, it is now dirty. I can't move it, I can't touch anything else with this dirty hand. I need to clean now with my sterile dominant hand. And that's why I have my iodine swabs right here ready to go. Pick one up, swab on the left. This is now dirty, get rid of it. Next one, top to bottom on the right. Dirty, get rid of it. Last one, top to bottom right down the middle. Dirty, get rid of it. This hand has only touched those swabs. I can now pick up the catheter that is sitting in the lubricant find the urethral meatus and insert. And I'm gonna go until I see some urine and then just a little further. Okay, we're gonna say that's right where it is. We're gonna inflate our balloon, keeping note of how many cc's we put in that balloon before we take it out, because we're gonna wanna note that on removal. Can move my hand, we've got urine, we've inflated our balloon. Let's set that aside. Now we're done with the sterile part, okay? You can loosen up, you can touch what you need to touch. We've got our bag, I'm gonna kind of move it to the side and grab my last important part of equipment, the catheter securing device. These go on kind of like a little tegaderm. We're gonna move our sterile drapes now that we're done being sterile. and we're going to get this secured to the thigh. So we'll take that off. It's just like a little sticker, a little dressing like that. And then we're gonna put the catheter tubing right down here in the middle. This pulls off and then it kind of just snakes through like that and Velcro's on. So you see that catheter is nice and secure. It's not going anywhere. We can go ahead and cover her back up and arrange our drainage collection bag. So if you remember, one of the big things is we don't want any dependent loops or kinks in this collection chamber, in this tubing. So we'll cover her up. Usually these bags with these little hooks are just gonna hang down on the bed. What we don't want is them hanging, kinking, looping in a way that the urine can't freely flow. Free flowing urine means nothing's backing up in the bladder and potentially causing an infection. So I'm gonna place that right there. Okay, our catheter is set up. Let's get rid of all of our materials. This one makes a lot of trash, so have a trash can nearby. Let's cover her up, good job. We'll take off those dirty gloves and perform hand hygiene after we dispose of all of these supplies. And of course, when we leave the room, we lower the bed, raise the side rails, and place the coal light within reach. Then we go ahead and document the entire procedure. Things I wanna note is that you're documenting how many mLs or cc's of saline you put in that balloon, where the catheter was secured, and if you got any urine. The color, odor, and consistency and amount of that urine. We wanna monitor that in the drainage bag and note that in our ins and outs accordingly. Those are the big key things 
to monitor for when you're documenting that Foley catheter. All right, great job. Let's go ahead and head on out. That was Foley insertion in a female client. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys back next time. Archer nurses, Dr. Caffrey with Archer Review again. I hope you enjoyed that clinical skill video. Dr. Taylor and I had so much fun filming those for you. In fact, we filmed over 200 clinical skill videos for you so that as you guys enter clinical practice, you feel as prepared as possible. You can sign up for that complete clinical skills course using this QR code here or going to archerreview.com. There you can also sign up for the 19 other comprehensive nursing courses that we've created for you like behavioral health, pediatrics, fundamentals, health assessment. Our goal here is to make nursing school as simple as possible so that you guys feel prepared to enter your new career as a nurse. In the meantime, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you never miss an Archer Review video. Good luck, future nurses.